All right, back to what we were talking about at the top of the hour, those winds tonight. We saw some of those trees yeah. that were just sent tumbling down as a result. You know, we reported at like 6 o'clock. We had maybe four or five incidents of it. There's just so much more out there. I will say the good news is the winds are now starting to back down a bit. And by the morning hours, they're not going to be a problem for you. You have a really good-looking Saturday ahead of you. Sunday's going to be sort of problematic. I'll talk about that in just a bit, but here's your picture. As of right now, it's a partly clear sky. It is still windy. The winds aren't as strong as they were, but you still have a, you know, around a 30 mile per hour gust in the city. 58 degrees as of right now. High temperature in Central Park. Take a peek here. All of the numbers in red, those are records that were established. Central Park hit 82. The record was 76. I mean, you're not just breaking records by, you know, three, four degrees, which is what typically happens. We're crushing records. The biggest spread you're going to find, JFK, the record had been 67. <laughs> you're 14 degrees warmer today. So your record for JFK is now 81 degrees. You hit 84 in Newark, New Jersey, you know, crushing that old record of 73. What's going to happen tomorrow? It's not going to be record setting heat. As a matter of fact, a little on the chilly side tomorrow morning. You're 43 in the city at around 7 a.m., 34 for Monticello. You're 36 in Sparta, 38 Poughkeepsie. Now, as you go through the day, your temperatures, just know right now, your temperatures will be about 15 degrees colder. But come on, remember, you were 82 degrees today. Well, tomorrow, this is showing 63 at 4 p.m. I think you may very well find your way to the mid 60s tomorrow. Some of you will be in the upper 60s, but it's not going to be the 70s. It's not going to be the 80s. Uh, it's a much cooler day out there, but it's glorious. And those numbers, those numbers are still significantly above the average for this time of the year. So enjoy your Saturday. Skies will be beautiful as you go throughout your day. Maybe a couple of clouds will float in here or there, but really not too much. A really good looking Saturday. Sunday, Sunday starts off problematic with a rain chance. This is Sunday morning, 1030. Remember, the yellow is moderately heavy rain. The green's the light rain. And then you see those little flashes of orange where you could have some heavy downpours, but it's really at any point during the entire day on Sunday. There's 1030. Okay, here we go. This is 730 at night and you'll get some breaks at times, right? But it always seems that there's another pesky batch of rain coming through. So I just can't endorse Sunday the way I'm endorsing Saturday. Saturday is going to be a beauty. Sunday could very well end up giving us around an inch of rain in a number of spots out there. Some folks a little bit less, some folks a little bit more, but a wet weather day for Sunday. So for the weekend, you're 66 on Saturday. That's my pick of the weekend. You're 60 on Sunday, but you need the umbrella. Okay, not a great looking day. And then you get across the board and you look at Monday coming in at 53 degrees. Tuesday's 56. Uh, 62 by Wednesday. That's the last day of March. There's a late shower chance and then showers are likely on your April 1st. April Fool's Day, I guess. Uh, we got some showers for you out there. And kind of chilly as well. Guys, that's it. That's all, my, that's all I got for you. It was a hot day out there and a windy one. Those winds are dying down. Okay, Lonnie, thank Thanks. you.